Guys, I'm Dr. Mitchell, and today I'm going to be talking about what I believe is the golden ticket for getting into medical or dental school. If you're considering, if you're in elementary school, high school, undergraduate, or if you've even already graduated and are considering to go into medicine, dentistry, any kind of professional career, I believe there's one true thing that I've observed through my friends applying for years on end. So first I gotta say, if you're even considering it, do it. This has been the best career ever. I've been practicing for three years now and could not be happier. I'm 29 years old as a dentist in Phoenix, Arizona, and this is my calling. I mean, I get to treat people, I take them out of pain, I make them happy, and nothing is more heartwarming or a better feeling than treating somebody and helping somebody in need that is seeking your help and your profession. So if you're considering it, you got to do it. But if you're having trouble applying or trying to figure out where to start, you know, you got to get started by doing something in the industry. This is what I did. I started working for an orthodontist when I was an undergraduate and he had me, he taught me everything I needed to know right off the bat, how to pour models, tooth numbers, even started making things like retainers. And that was kind of my end to the industry. It's not the golden ticket, which I'm going to talk about in a few minutes but it really got my career kickstarted and knowing that this is what I wanted to do. So just get in touch with somebody, call them, say, hey, can I come in and just sterilize instruments? I want to learn, I'm considering the field, and I think I would be a great addition to your team. I highly guarantee nine times out of 10, they're gonna say, come on in. You know, it's a great way to get your foot in the door to meet people because another part of applying is about who you know. and. How you get to know people is by working in the industry, getting your foot in the door, talking, shaking hands, kissing babies, doing what you got to do to get started. So you've decided you're going to sign up for the prerequisite courses that you need to take in order to get into medical or dental school. These things include like general chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, etc. that kind of set a baseline GPA they can look at and say, hey, you know, this person's doing well in science classes, but it doesn't have to just be science classes. You can get a degree in other things. I had classmates that were civil engineers, teachers, had arts degrees. As long as you get those prerequisites in, the schools wanna say, hey, you know, this person is committed to education. They're going to learn. They're going to pay attention in our classes and they're going to be accepting to what we teach them. They just wanna see that you have a degree along with things like experience in the industry, which I just talked about volunteering in academics. They want to see yourself fully immersed into the field that you're about to go in because it is truly a lifelong commitment. And that's a good thing. It's exciting. I mean, every day I work on my continued education on how I'm going to better myself within the field. But first, you got to get in. And people say that's the hardest part, and it is one of the many hardest parts. Other part, hard parts include, you know, the academics that go along with it and studying and the time commitment. I mean, you're not going to have a job while you're in medical or professional school. It's just, there's too much going on. You've heard rumors of people doing it, but I guarantee you're not because you're going to have to immerse yourself so deeply into these academics, but it's worth it. So if you're considering and you know, you finish these courses and you get to the point where you're done, you're getting ready to apply, you know, you take your exams, your MCAT, your DAT, what may have you. While you're applying to these medical and dental schools, right off the bat, also apply to master's programs. And this is what I believe is the golden ticket into getting into these professional schools. People who enroll in these master's programs at a, at a professional university tend to have an easier time getting in. When this be maybe like a year long or two year long program, I was even approached by a university saying, hey, if you do our two years master's program, we will auto enroll you into our dental school. Now, yes, that's an extra two years I have to add on, but people who are applying right out of undergraduate, there's a small percentage of them that get in their first time but applying, but don't let this discourage you because you will get in if you are persistent and you commit yourself to this industry. So while you're applying to med or dental school, apply to the master's programs at those schools as well. Because if you get in and can commit yourself to that one year, knowing that your first year out of undergraduate, you're probably not going to get in, this is going to set you up for success that following year better than everybody else who's just taking a year off. If you take a year off, 
great, but make sure you're doing something in that industry. Don't just sit around and wait, take the test again, hopefully you score better. All those things are important, but getting into a master's program, if you have to take a one or two year off, is going to astronomically increase your chances for getting into medical or dental school. And I truly believe that can be the golden ticket in this year of 2020 and here forward. I think times of people applying straight out of undergrad, especially that first year is gonna be very, very difficult to get in unless you have an extremely high GPA and can really, really prove yourself during that interview process. So don't let this discourage you because adding on one more year to your schooling to have a lifelong of fulfillment and a career that you will absolutely love, be happy, be excited to go to work on Monday when it's a Friday afternoon like I am, you gotta do this. You gotta commit your time to the academics and putting yourself out there to really immerse yourself into the field. Again, whether you're in high school, undergraduate, if you're two or three years after undergraduate, you've applied three times. I mean, there's people that apply five times before getting in. I'm talking five years. You have to take a master's. I mean, it is gonna make your life so much easier to get in. Now, I will be honest, I did not do this. I was one of those very few lucky people that got in straight out of undergrad. Still to this day, I'm amazed how it, it is. It must be the way I sold myself. It must have been a combination of multiple factors, including working in the industry, academics, knowing people, interviews, you know, really selling myself, but it has been so rewarding. I would go back to school, even right now, even 10 years from now, do it over again, put myself in a twice as much student debt, which I'm gonna talk about in a separate video, just to be in this industry because I know this is my calling. And if you know this is your calling, you know if sitting here watching this video, that this is what you need to do. So don't be scared to apply. Don't be scared to immerse yourself in the field even though you haven't gotten in, you've gotten those rejection letters. It's going to happen if you're persistent and it is so rewarding. So get after it, apply to the graduate programs as you're applying to the medical and dental schools. Not only will that they see that, but they'll also know that this is really what you wanna do. So if you can do that, I guarantee you'll get in.